Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk through how I've completed this Highland Cow with colour pencils. If you like a look at this one and fancy completing this piece, I have a full real-time tutorial for members on Patreon. When signing up to my Patreon, you'll get everything you need to complete this tutorial, including line art, material list, reference photos, colour lists, and step-by-step -step instructions. Also, if you go over to my Patreon now, you can access this free fox eye tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions. Check out the link in the description below. So let's get started with the Highland Cow. So for all of my pieces, I usually start with an eye, but for this one, he is a bit too shaggy, so he doesn't have any eyes that are visible. So we're going to start with the left-hand horn. So what I do is just go through with some of the lighter colours and put in a base layer and then start to build up the darker colours like the walnut brown and black and then go over with a solvent blender, blend it all down and then go back over with the lighter colours and the darker colours to build it all back up again. When tackling fur like this, it's best just to do sort of small clumps of fur at a time. Breaking it down and doing small bits at a time will ensure that you're getting the shapes and all the colours very accurate and where they're meant to be. So for this piece, because he's sort of off in the distance and it's not a up close portrait of the cow, you need to make sure that you're not drawing individual hairs. So if I just went through doing sort of really small fur strokes, it wouldn't look realistic because from the distance that the cow is away from the camera you can only sort of see clumps of hair so you need to make sure to put in the clumps of hair and really closely follow your reference photo. So when it comes to the long fur on the body and also on the head here I have gone in with my embossing tool and just put in some really lighter bits that go over the darker bits. So an embossing tool is a great way to make sure that you're keeping your lines nice and white and preserving the highlights of the piece. And then I'll go over with a base layer, which is all of the lighter colors like the ivory, beige red, burnt ochre, and then start to go in with the darker colors and the mid colors like the burnt sienna, raw umber. Finally, the darker colors, which is the walnut brown and the black. And I've also used a slice tool just to go over and start to slice away some of those little random hairs. And also using the slice tool on those clumps of hairs will sort of make it look not so spaghetti-like and have sort of little flyaway hairs and make it look a, bit, look a bit more like hair rather than noodles. And this sort of texture does take a really long time and it is quite difficult to do. So don't be disheartened. Remember that each piece goes through an ugly stage where it does look like it's not going to work out, but you just need to keep going, keep adding more colors and building up your tones and it will all come together in the end. In the real-time tutorial of this Highland Cow on Patreon, I break down each section and you see everything in real time. So it can seem rather daunting when you're doing a piece like this, but the tutorials really break them down and it is a great way to learn. If you feel like this may be too advanced for you, you can always start off with a smaller tutorial such as the Fox Eye and there are other smaller tutorials on there and then build up to something like this. So this doesn't need to be the first thing that you sort of tackle. So now when you're going in and doing your backgrounds, what you want to do is make sure that you're putting your pencil on the side and glazing down your colors really, really lightly. So if you go through with a really heavy pressure and put in really dark color lines, you won't be able to blend it down smoothly and make the color even. So for backgrounds that you sort of want to be a bit blurry, you want it to sort of be even and very soft. So make sure to put your pencil on the side and just slowly build up those colors. So for this piece, I sort of had to plan out which section I wanted to do first and what I had to do last. So I decided to do the cow first, but then I couldn't add the feet or the bottom section until I added the grass, but I couldn't add the grass until I added the back um, trees, but then I couldn't add the back trees until I had added the sky. So I had to do the sky first and then sort of the trees and bushes you see in the background and then the foreground and then as I was doing the foreground I started to add in the legs and the bottom section of the cow. Remember if you like this video to like and subscribe and I'll be bringing out new content each month adding more to my Patreon and building up all of the tutorials on there and adding helpful videos on YouTube. So with the grass on this one, I did use a different technique on the left side than I did on the right side. So on the left hand side, I went through and put a base of the ivory 
the yellows, warm grey and cold grey colours. And then I went over with my slice tool and started to slice away some of the sections. And then on the right hand side I went in at the start with my embossing tool and put down some grass sections before I got started. So either way that you want to do it, and I also explain in the tutorial on Patreon, that either way that you want to do it is fine. You sort of get the same outcome in the end, but I did find using the embossing tool was a little bit easier in the end. But I think when it all comes together and the whole background is in with the cow, it really makes it sort of stand out. And you don't want the foreground to be in too much focus because you want the whole focus of the piece to be the cow so you'll be looking at the piece and seeing the whole effect of the whole thing but you don't want your eye to be dragged to the left or the right or the sky or the ground because the main focus of the piece is the cow so making sure not to put in too much detail in the bushes and grass sections or the sky because you want people to look straight at the cow and that pull their focus so i'd love to see what you think of this one in the comments below. I have cards made of this on Etsy as well and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.